All right. Let's start with this new vlog. We are leaving our second location, going to our uh, next location, and uh, see what we can find. And right off the bat, on that dirt road, we found this tri tricolor tropical milk snake, also the Central American milk snake. The something I wanted to see, but I just least expected to happen. And guess what happened? Boom. We did a little stop in this cafe just to look at green iguanas actually in our natural habitat, not back in uh, Florida where they're non-native. The next herb while we were on this hike was this helmet of iguana um actually pretty low in uh vegetation Pero yo no le ando contando a nadie, ¿me entiendes? Todos somos colegas. Que él le puede tomar esta foto también. Then uh, inside this burrow, we actually got a new tarantula species. Doesn't have a common name, but here's the scientific name. Um, uh, this tarantula is high in elevation, kind of like a maintained environment, tropical. And then right after that, we got a gold phase violet pit viper, the phase that I want to see the most, like most people who live in Costa Rica. And uh, it, was, it was pretty exciting to see this um, individual. Then uh, shortly after we got this large <clears throat> anole species, this is the decorated anole, also called the uh, jeweled giant canopy anole. Um, it's I think the largest anole species in Costa Rica. Hey, you from here mm -hmm. Then we got a lizard that was high on my list. This is the yellow spotted tropical night lizard. Um, Mainly active during dusk and dawn, but this one was hiding. But that was that day, and this was the uh, next day where we were gonna go and uh, see what we can find. First herps that night were these slendered uh, knolls. Um, we're sleeping on the branches. Um, this is the first one, and then uh, we saw a second one, just a f maybe like a few seconds, which is what this individual was. Yeah, I saw two of them since I've been in Costa Rica. Imantoes. Yeah. The first frog was this, this strawberry dart frog um, on the ground. We saw several that night. Um, I didn't record all of them, but I did record uh, one that was shortly after this one, which you will see in a few seconds. And this is the first um, first lifer of that night. This is the olive snatted uh, tree frog. Apparently it come in different uh, color phases, yellow, brown, and green. So it was really cool to see this brown phase one. All of time we've been able to see them when they carry the tackle. And uh, we got these uh, <coughs> red-eyed leaf tro uh, tree frogs, or leaf frogs. Uh, two of them, one was in lower vegetation, one was on the stem of a branch. I mean, plant so yeah it was really cool to see two of my favorite frogs so let's keep on looking
The next new species for me that night was the slim fingered rain frog. We saw several of these individuals. This was the first one, but you'll see, I think, two more in this video. Um, but yeah, really cool uh, species. The only snake we saw that night was this uh, common blindhead tree snake, of course. Can't go a night without seeing them, but it was, uh, it was good to see a snake out um, that night. So, yeah. And we got my first native uh, species of gecko. Uh, this is the turnip tail gecko. Um, really, really common species, but this is the only individual we saw on the trip. And this was just a juvenile, so um, we didn't see any adults, but really good. Then we saw this leaf layer toad, which uh, is quickly becoming my one of my favorite toads in the country just because of that that coloration especially that black mask that just goes all the way from the nostril all the way down um in the lateral side and i don't know and then uh shortly after we got this savage bullfrog um that was just sitting about um and it's a good uh species count for the uh night then the last species that was a new one for me was this um, vein tree frog, um, just hanging out in low vegetation. You could hear them all over the place, but this is the only one that we were able to see. And then I believe this was the last herb. This is the, of course, valence frog. Um, just out and about, very common species. And I think this might be the last one that we see in the whole entire trip. Other than that, I will end this uh, vlog with a two-toed sloth. Um, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Next video will be the last Costa Rica herb video, so I'll see you next time.